guys, how's it going? Welcome to my new setup. What do you think? I'm really excited about making new content for you guys. And today I want to share with you my mommy makeup. This is what I do on a busy day. I'm spending with the kids running errands, but I still want to look alive and non zombie like. <laughs> so this is how I wake up in the morning. And sometimes I just like to even out my skin tone, brighten my skin, and just look a little bit more presentable, look like I've slept a little more than I have. And I'll also be sharing with you my morning skincare routine, especially since after having kids, I feel like I'm just aging quicker and I just need to do better things to my skin and take better care of it. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing that I like to put on my skin is a vitamin C serum. I've been really into vitamin C serums lately. I actually just recently started using it several months ago. Vitamin C is basically just to help kind of brighten and smooth skin texture. I really need it. Um, the one that I've been reaching for lately is by the brand Glow Recipe. It's their Pineapple C Bright Serum. This serum smells just like pineapples, so if you like the smell of pineapples, you'll like this. Pineapple also has a really high percentage of vitamin C naturally, and so I think that's why they created this serum. Um, and it comes in a dropper. I just probably do like half a dropper, and then I rub it into my hands and just apply it to my face. And the next thing I apply directly right after is sunscreen. Sunscreen is so important, you guys. If I do anything at all, because there are honestly a lot of days where I don't wear makeup at all when I'm hanging out with my kids, and if I do anything when I go out, I always apply sunscreen. Sunscreen is so important. Skin from premature aging, from dark spots, freckles. Um, the reason why I have so much freckles and sunspot is because I was not very good about sun care and sun protection. So if you're gonna be a mom or if you're already a mom, for any woman or any human being in general, if you wanna take good care of your skin, I highly recommend sunscreen. The sunscreen that I've been using a lot lately is by the brand Hadan. It has SPF 50 and it's a brightening, moisturizing sunscreen. I have a lot of viewers from Mongolia and this is actually a Mongolian brand. So if you live in Mongolia, this is a really good product. I've been loving it because it leaves like this pretty glow on my skin and it doesn't um, react with makeup, if that makes sense. It doesn't like bunch up. It sits really nicely under makeup and I love that. One that I've been using a lot, I just recently started using the Hadan one, the CeraVe Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion. This has an SPF of 30 and it's for normal to oily skin. It has a matte finish, which is really nice too. And I've gone through about three tubes of this, but the Hadan is strictly sold in Mongolia. So that's why I'm mentioning the one by CeraVe because of anybody else who's interested in a good sunscreen that I recommend. So that is basically my skincare routine in the morning. That's it. I just try to keep it really simple. All right, next I'm gonna go in with my foundation. For my foundation, I'm mixing two different products because my skin tone right now is not as dark as this, but it's not as light as this, and this is what I have, so I'll just be mixing them. They're both great foundations. I like them both. Um, I recommend both. One is the Too Faced Born This Way, and I have the color Warm Beige, and the other one is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the color Punjab. So I just take one pump of each of those and mix it on my hand. And with a sponge, I just quickly dab, dab, dab all over my face. I really like this sponge. This is an e.l.f. sponge. I've only seen it sold with a silicone sponge in like a package with a silicone sponge. I think they call it a highlighting brush or something, but I really like this. It's really easy to apply and it actually works really well when it's dry and when I'm busy and just want to get my makeup on, sometimes I, I don't even want to like walk to the bathroom and get it wet. So if you're like that, <laughs> I recommend this. So I forgot to mention that the main reason I like using these foundations 
on like a busy mom day is because they're both medium coverage and they look pretty natural. They give you a, a good amount of coverage without looking too heavy. And when I'm with my kids, most likely, especially my nine month old, will touch my face. Anything touches your face, your makeup will rub off. And so if some of it does come off, it's not as noticeable. Whereas if I use something that's a lot more higher coverage than if like my son grabs his hand and like slaps me across the face <laughs> or rubs his face against my face or something, you can, it's a noticeable difference where the foundation came off. So that's something to think about. Even if you want full coverage and you have infant, smaller children, it might be just easier to go with a lighter coverage foundation. So next I'm going in with concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer and this is in the color light beige. I apply this under my eyes. This I need a lot of. This really helps make me look more awake. So I just dab with the same sponge and I'm trying to kind of do it at the same speed that I normally do it because I'm usually just trying to do it fast, fast, fast. And this video is gonna probably be a little bit longer than how long it actually takes me. It takes me like five minutes, five, 10 minutes to do this makeup look, but I'm having to explain a lot of things. So that's why this video might be a little bit longer. Okay, concealer is on. Concentrate that under your eyes because if you can make your under eyes look bright um, and light, you just look more awake and fresh and non-zombie-like, which is, the goal. <laughs> so next, I use a little bit of glow drops. This one is by the brand Morphe. This is the highlighting drops in the color Flash. Then, so I drop it on my hand and with the same sponge, again, I dab it on my cheekbones. It's not like super high beam highlighting. I just want it to give me a nice glow. I don't want it to be super over the top. Um, if you are looking for a highlighting drop that's like over the top, this is not the one for you. But if you just want it to like do its job, make your skin look glowy, then use this. I've only seen this sold in a pack of four, but I really like it for just like that really natural glow. All right, next I set under my eyes, I set that concealer just a little bit with a powder that I've been using a lot lately and trying out. This is by The Beauty Bakery. It's called the Flower Setting Powder. This is a translucent powder and same sponge, dab off excess. Dab, dab, dab under eyes, dab, dab, dab. And then just, you know, dab anywhere that you don't really wanna to be too shiny. I have normal skin. I don't really get too oily throughout the day, so I don't need to set my makeup. But I also find that if I set too much, kind of like the same thing, if my son touches my face or my kids rub against my face, then when you've set your makeup, then you can see where it smudged off more easily. So I kind of just like the foundation to sit on my skin the way it is without setting it. That way, because I know inevitably, most of it will come off from kids rubbing against my face. <laughs> If you have older kids, that's really not a problem. Next, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I've been using the same eyebrow pencil for the last two years, and it's been the Hadan eyebrow pencil in Deep Brunette. It's an amazing pencil. If you live in Mongolia, go get this pencil. But I've been trying to find a new pencil that's similar, and I've been wanting to try out new pencils for you guys. And I just got this from Target the other day. It's by Revlon. It's the Colorstay Brow Creator. And I am in the color 610 Dark Brown. It has a pencil on one end, a brush on the other, and on the in the middle, it has this like powder thing, which I actually don't like because my brows specifically need more definition than what a brow powder can do for me. But if you have pretty full brows that just want, need like a dusting of color, I think that's great, but I just need the definition of the pencil. So when I fill in my eyebrows, and when I wanna do it fast on a mommy day, I just have to let them relax, because if I do this or raise my eyebrows too much, then um, a lot of times I draw them in crooked. <laughs> so I just try to relax. Calm down. <laughs> I can't calm down because I'm laughing. 
I just draw in quick hair like strokes and honestly don't even think about it because I feel like on the days that I think too hard about it my eyebrows turn out like crap and the days that I'm just like going with the flow like yeah just don't fight the feeling just, just keep going See, now I'm frowning. This is how I mess up my brows. It's because I start doing weird, <laughs> weird expressions. Just relax. Just relax. This is what I tell myself when I do my eyebrows, you guys. All right, brows done. Next, I am gonna curl my eyelashes quickly just to get some lift because my eyelashes like to go straight down. They do not want to hang up upstairs. They just want to go down. As far down as they can go, they want to be there. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> uh, okay, just kidding. Then next, I'm gonna just give my skin some sun, some bronze. I'll be using the Bare Minerals Endless Summer Bronzer in the color Warmth. And this product goes a long way. So honestly, you just need like the tiniest bit. And just like to dab it on my forehead first. Because nobody's skin is actually one color. And the reason why you'll see me like tapping it into my skin and not blending, because I have a lot of that freckles around here and when I brush it against my skin the foundation that I just applied will come off so I just like to pat it on kind of like layering and this is technically setting my foundation a little bit too so that's why I don't really need to use a setting powder and I drag this over my nose under my chin my jaw my eyelids. For my blush, I'll be using the Rimmel Maxi Blush. It's a powder blush in the color Four Sweet Cheeks. I really like using these like corally orange color blushes. I think they look really pretty on olive skin tone. If you have a warm skin tone like me, these types of colors look great. So just put that on my cheeks and then I usually use the same brush, but for the purpose of this video, I'll be a little bit more precise. I'm just gonna put this in my crease. Next, I'll be using mascara. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara in very black. I really like this mascara. I think it's a definite dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex. If you can see the spoolie, if you guys know that mascara. It has a very similar formula also. But, truth be told, no matter what mascara I use on my itty bitty teeny weeny lashes, it really doesn't make a difference. <laughs> but I do like these. But if you have great eyelashes naturally and uh, mascaras make a huge difference, this is one that I definitely recommend you try out. It's good. And we're almost done, you guys! I'm gonna get some baby wipes to wipe off that excess foundation. And I'm gonna apply a lip balm to my lips. I really like this lip balm. This is actually called the NARS Orgasm Afterglow Lip Balm. It's pretty sheer and it's exactly that. It just has a little bit of tint to it, which is great. It moisturizes your lips and that's all I really need because I am kissing on my kids a lot, so. All right guys, so this is the final look. This is my quick, busy mom look. This is the look that I do when I'm just hanging out with my kids and I wanna look presentable and awake and fresh. Um, yeah, it's really good for anybody who just wants a really natural and quick makeup look. I hope you guys get a chance to try it out if you liked my video. If you liked my new setup, 
please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm gonna be making a lot more content here and more regularly. I'm just gonna amp everything up, I'm amping up the quality, I'm amping up the regularity of videos. So if you have any more suggestions, just leave them in the comments or you can find me on Instagram and send me suggestions over there as well. But I think that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy. And if you are a mom, please know that you actually don't have to wear makeup. Most of the days that I am with my kids, I don't wear makeup at all. So you're doing great. You don't actually have to wear makeup if you're juggling a ton of kids. But if you want something fresh and easy, try this look out. All right, so I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.